What's the most important thing that you've learned being out here on the streets? Going before 8 o'clock every night. Okay. Because nothing good happens after 8 on the streets of Boston. I'm sure. It's got to be terrible. What is it like just being in this area specifically? It's scary. Roxy, I'm 47, and like I grew up in Plymouth, Mass. In Plymouth? Yes. Okay, how did you get here? Um, I went to college at to Quinnipiac University. Cool, what did um, you go to school for? Bachelor of Science in Business Marketing, minor in Psych. I worked 17 years for an engineering company called ATI Systems in East Boston. We manufacture emergency warning. Can you talk just a little louder? We manufacture emergency warning systems for chemical plants, refineries, paper mills. Um, and then I went on SSDI. And um, my mom was my payee when she passed away eight months ago. Um, I was, I, I went, well, from, from so working for ATI Systems to... That, that company applied to disability. Their disability got me on SSDI. But when she passed away, she was my payee for SSDI. I stopped getting paid so for eight months. I had to leave my home. Mm. And I came to Woods Mall. And I had no income. And when I went to get food stamps or any assistance, they denied me because they see that I'm paying, getting paid three grand. They were depositing the money into my mom's account. Okay. So I began and it's been an interesting you know uh, it's been an adventure out here I'm no. sure I know it's been hard so um, so you're homeless correct yes uh, they just made me my own pay but wow so how long have you been homeless for eight months eight months wow so basically this whole check thing kind of led to your homelessness? Yeah, I, well I couldn't pay my rent, I had to leave my place. Okay, I'm sorry. I make three grand a month from Social Security. Wow. Um, so what's your drug of choice? Um, I do um, crystal meth, Tina. Crystal meth. Yeah, I don't shoot up. I you smoke don't? It. Nope. Oh, you smoke it. Oh, at least you're not messing up you know, yeah. your arms and stuff. How, who introduced you to, to Tina? Um, being homeless. Really? So the streets introduced you? I wasn't on drugs when I came out here. No way to get income. So one of the girls told me, well, it's easy. They take you out to, to do this. I don't do sex, but, you know, you have to do blowjobs. Okay. And you do what you have to do. It's so dehumanizing. That's, is that how you support yourself out here? Yeah. Okay. Gotta do what you gotta do. Um... What was life like early on growing up? Like with your parents? Do you have both parents in the household? No, my, I grew up by a single mom, but... Okay. I had a great life, actually. Really? I had a good mom. My mom never... I'm an only child. She never kept her eyes off me. I have two girls. They're in other homes. They're older anyways. One's in college. One's 16. She's with the DCF worker that got involved but took temporary custody. Okay. And she's like, because I, my father paid for my college degree. My, oh, my other daughter, I've been married twice. Her dad paid for her degree, but this, the 16 year old, she's set for life. Her, people are gonna pay for her college degree. She's in a good home. It's the best thing I ever did. Aww. I made. You're two beautiful girls. They, I know. I, for Mother's Day, I seen them. They took me out to eat. Yes, happy Mother's Day. Thing. You said they took you out to eat? Yeah, they don't know my situation. They don't know this. They might see it, but I'll tell them once I get the money because when I cash the big check, I'll give them three grand a piece, you know. And yeah, I, take care of your babies. Yeah, but, uh, you know, these people, they still, these are the most unbelievable. I live out here with 
I stay in a shelter every night, so I'm not on the street. But these people, they steal everything. You can't put anything down without them stealing it. They stole my wallet with my birth certificate, my my driver's license, my, my everything. I mean, and literally, I'm out here. The police tell me you're out here because they run your name. You know, I don't have a rec- criminal record at all. They run your name. I'm out here with pedophile and rapists. At that 112 shelter, anybody can stay there. I've been raped, robbed, drugged. You know, there. I haven't not... There isn't anything I haven't gone through. And I, I didn't come out here street smart, but I'm learning. Ready to quit yet? Yeah. As soon as I, I get my money, absolutely. Yes. Change your life. Um, what is rock bottom for you? This. This, this is rock bottom. There isn't anything worse than this life. There really sure. isn't. Do you have any advice for anyone who's never tried drugs? Don't do drugs. Don't ever do drugs. They'll take everything from you, including you. go in before 8 o'clock every night. Okay. Because nothing good happens after 8 on the streets of Boston. I'm sure. It's got to be terrible. What is it like just being in this area specifically? It's scary. It's scary. I feel safe out here because there's a lot of police and the other girls. We've got each other's back. That's good. I'm glad you got somebody to look Well, a couple here. of us. I mean, like, you see those two there, they're wondering what's going on. But um, they're like, why would you ever not try and get a date? We haven't gotten a date today. And I won't eat. You know, I can't eat without money. I can't do anything. I'm hungry. I'm <laughs> so they're probably wondering why I'm like, over here. But after all, I'll we'll tell them. We'll make sure you eat. Mm-hmm. Is there anything that you've lost due to uh, one second? One um, is there anything that you've lost? To drugs. I know you lost your ID and all that, but anything that you sacrifice for drugs? Yeah, my morals. I, I'm a prostitute. Values. I don't steal, though. I still, I'm one of the few. I don't take what's not mine. I don't lie and I don't steal. Those two things my mother instilled in me. My mom died on December 1st, so. I'm so sorry. That's why I lost my money. She was sick for a while. I haven't been paid since, like, October 1st. So, it's like I will never, no matter how many things you steal from me, I won't steal and I won't lie. Two things that are the worst things in my mind that you can do to someone. Right. Okay, honey, well, I'm not going to keep you. I just want to tell you that I'm praying for you. Thank you. And you're very, um, you have a lot going on for you. You're college educated, you know, you have beautiful daughters, you have a lot to live for, you have a Thank lot you. to aspire to, and continue a beautiful life, and I just wish you the best. Thank I'm you. i that you get off the streets. Thank you.